Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about if else and if statements in JavaScript and this is going to be very interesting. We will see what is an if statement and how to write an if statement. We will see if else and if else and if statements. So before we begin, let me go to Google and search for if else statement so that I can tell you why exactly we need these statements and I will go to the images section and here you can see this diagram. So in our programming we a lot of time needs a condition where we can write some code or we can follow some particular path in the if the condition is true and if it is false we can follow some other path or write some other code. So you can see here we have a condition if the condition is true we have some block of code that gets executed in case it is false we have some other block of code and you can see some examples here as well so here you can see we say test as a variable which is equals to 5 and then in case test is less than 5 we have some block of statement and else we have some other block of statements so if else statements is present in almost all programming languages and so we have it in javascript as well if i tell you the syntax of if statement it is very simple we say if and in the brackets we give some expression which calculates to true or false and then a block which is created by a start and end curly brackets and whatever you write inside the block will be the if block and these statements will be executed if the expression is true so for example i will go to my visual studio code and i will go to the editor or explorer and i will create a new file called if else dot js and here i can write my code so let us say i say let h equals 20 and now i will say if and i will give a bracket where i can put a condition so i will say here if h is greater than 18 so this is the condition i want to check and then a curly bracket start and a curly bracket stop and if this is true it will go inside the block and i want to just print here console.log I will print here congrats you are eligible to get driving license and now because age is 20 which is greater than 18 then this is true it should come inside and run this particular command or this program so i will run this and check the output so if i run this it says congrats you are eligible to get a driving license suppose the age is less than 18 i will say it is 15 and if i run it now you can see i am not getting any output because it is not going inside this if block this is false it does not go inside if block and therefore we do not have this executed now in case it is false you can use an else and here you can just say else and give a curly bracket and whatever you write inside this will be executed in case this condition is false and that is what is a if else statement so we say if expression and the statements and then create a else block and this the statements inside the else block will be executed if the expression is false so if i say here else i will say console.log and here I will say sorry you are not eligible to get a driving license and if I now run this I will clear the output and run this again and see it is saying sorry you are not eligible to get a driving license now what if the age is 18 so if somebody has age 18 then ideally he should be able to get a driving license so if I run this program now let us see the output so it says let me just clear this save and run this again so it says sorry you are not eligible to get a driving license because age greater than 18 this is false so it is going inside here however we need to test a condition where age is equals to 18 so in that case we can use a else if block so here I can also say after if block I can say else if and again I will give a expression I will say h equals equals 18 and in this case in else if block the block will again be created by these curly brackets and if this is true I want to print I will just say congrats you just became 
eligible to get driving license go drive so if I run this program I will run this and see it is saying you just became eligible to get a driving license so this is how we can use a if else if block so here the syntax is the first one is same we say if expression and then we say else if expression 2 and if this is true expression 2 will be executed and if both expressions are false then finally it will go into the else block so this is how we create if else and if blocks in javascript i hope this was very useful for you you can do some more hands-on with some more examples and you can let me know if you have any issues and i will meet you in the next episode of javascript thank you for watching